Hi and welcome to shadydesigns.com.au When in this video you're going to discover everything you need to know about choosing a lampshade if you've got a lamp base already. So if you've got a table lamp or a floor lamp and you need a new shade for it, here's everything you need to know. So table lamps come in all different sizes and shapes and so do floor lamps. To choose a shade for there you've got a few different shape options. A drum shape like this one here. A cylinder shape which is tall and narrow like this one here or you might want to go with a conical shape or an empire like this frame here they come in all sorts of sizes whether you want to go for teeny weeny or huge it all depends on the lamp base that you've got or the room that it goes in you can also choose from soft shades like the traditional sort of Victorian ones that you see in all sorts of shapes where you might have the scallops along the bottom or you might want to go for a custom shape altogether a custom shape being an oval or a rectangle or a square but most commonly you're going to see drum shapes or tapered drums or empires a tapered drum is the shape that's very gently sloping towards the bottom which is probably the most common shape that we offer um, for people's table lamps and floor lamps so how do you choose the right perfect lampshade for your base? If you've got a base plate, and the base plate is the part of the lamp at the bottom, you probably want to go with a lampshade that's a little wider than the base plate. And that's because you want to get a nice balance happening. So here's our first tip. A wider lampshade than the base plate. Another tip that you can also use is Traditionally, there's an old rule that says whatever the height of the lamp is should be the diameter of the shade. That's, a, that's fair enough, but doesn't work in all cases. And why is that? Well, you've got to look at where you put your lamp. Is it in a tight corner? Is it up against a wall? Is it in front of a painting? And then fit it into the context of the space. So, make sure that the lamp is appropriate for where it goes. You can't just go, that's the rule, and we'll stick to that. If you've got a decorative base, then maybe you want to go with a plain lampshade. Or you could do vice versa. If you've got a decorative lampshade, go for a really simple base. And that's the example that I've got here in my hand. Really slender, skinny stem, and the lampshade's quite wild. If you're moving to a soft shade or an empire sort of style, uh, there are some tricky sort of fittings that you've got to understand. And you can see all the, um, all the factors for fittings and how to install lampshades in our video posted below, how to install a lampshade. Once you've chosen a size and a shape, the fun part is choosing a fabric. And so when you think about the fabric, it's what works in the context of the room or what works with the lamp base itself. Here's an example of a rectangular lampshade that goes on quite a traditional lamp base. Because you want to make... In this case, the lamp base be the feature and the hero. The lampshade has its traditional shape, which mirrors the shape of the base plate, being rectangular as well. But we've gone for a plain fabric, but it's a slubbed silk. So there's a bit of texture in there. Just because it's a plain fabric doesn't mean it has to be a boring fabric. If you'd like to get our advice, give us an email of your project at info at shadydesigns.com.au and shoot us a picture of your lamp base and also a picture of the room that it goes in. Remembering, you can explore all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and in this case, we've got a really slender woman lamp, and the old rule of whatever the height of the base is should be the, the diameter of the shade doesn't apply to this, because you want it to be a really gentle, soft shade. You don't want this enormous thing towering over the woman. You can also pop into our studio with your lamp, and we can try out from our hundreds of different shapes and fabrics to choose from and we'll guide you in the right direction. It's really fun dressing up your old lamps because it turns that pre-boring thing into something spectacular and funky. I'm Arif from shadydesigns.com.au and I hope this video has been really helpful.